I find myself in a bit of a predicament and I've got the burning smell I think it was just mud Having mud on the exhaust Oh my goodness, what a nightmare Lock gates I can't, I'm going to have to get out of here Alright see where this goes In this video, the big bike adventure dude is playing with some AI-generated voiceover just for fun. Like a lot of his rides, he had to start in a tunnel, but the ride would turn into an adventure soon enough. The big fella had to ride from Brisbane to the Tweed Coast, which meant taking the M1 motorway. The traffic was shit, but he was glad to be on the bike and not stuck like all the cagers. The next day on the ride back, the big fella decided to take as much dirt as possible and use the Husqvarna Norden 901 Expedition for its design purpose. Play some funky music, white boy. For those that are familiar with the area, you will recognize the track through the Mebane National Park. It was on this track that the big fella stopped to take some pictures of the new bike, and it was on this track that he met Lockie, who had a sexy new Yamaha T7, which had some really cool modifications. Lockie was heading back to his home via Lismore, which was the wrong direction for BBA, so after a short ride together, the big fella peeled off and headed up into the Border Ranges National Park. The plan was to ride across the range to the Lions Road and then back to Brisbane. But as we know from watching this dude for years, things don't always go to plan. The big fella had committed to being back in Brisbane to meet his daughter who had just come back from her own adventure in Canada. After his daughters lost their mother to cancer last year, they are always telling their dad to be careful on the bike, keep in touch and don't die, so the last thing he wanted to do was create anxiety for them. Now, the ride up into the border ranges is beautiful. You gain some elevation, which makes the riding cooler, but what the National Park Service didn't do was put any warning signs about the road being closed. The big fella has been across this road many times. Even when the gates are shut at one end, they are generally open at the other to allow access to the lookouts and walking tracks, so it was not uncommon to duck around a barrier and pop out at the other end of the National Park. Before any of you start going on about lock gates and blah blah blah, there were no signs at the start of the climb and once you are committed to the climb into the national park, it becomes the shortest route and with considerations for fuel and time, it is easiest to just bypass the gate. Don't tell me you never done it! Anyway, he ended up at the other end of the national park at a gate that could not be circumvented. He realized he had to turn around and go all the way back to the Kyogre Road and by this time, he was running very late to meet his daughter. He had to find a place that had phone signal to get a message out to his daughter. When he got signal, he found he already had a couple of messages from her checking to make sure he was okay. He let her know he was, but now he's getting in trouble for being safe and well, but very late. Nothing like being scolded by your own children. Get around the sunlight. Anyway, that was the end of that ride. He had to find his way back across the border through the Numanbar Valley and back to the M1. By this time, it was getting dark and starting to rain, but that's what it's all about, right? Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think of Matthew McConaughey narrating. Over and out.